This is a taster of a 90-day program that I take people through the process of going from pain to pain-free, and that journey, it can take that, it takes that journey to go through that and learn it properly um, and have long-lasting effects. However, on this little talk, people have come back to me the next year, the next year and said, I've been pain-free, I'm using your methods, it's working for me, I'm, they've changed their lives on just this little talk. So whether this talk is enough for you, that may be that. Um, perhaps you want to take things further, and uh, on, on my website there is uh, a free guide if you want to take to the next step from here, after you know what to do. <laughs> um, and then if you do want my help, come onto the programme and I teach you. Um, and so everything's on the website. Um, you will, I recommend that you have a, a bit of paper to write some things down. You may not want to, but I recommend that you do, because I'm going to show you key factors, four key factors of shifting into pain-free. So um, do you want to take some of these? And you can write on the back. You've got, it's all blank at the back. You've got that space. Thank you. Thanks very much. So the very first thing, um, yeah, so to let you know who the hell am I, <laughs> um, some of you already know me. Um, all day long, in the last couple of days, people have been coming up to say, um, they're interested to come to this talk and telling me about a little bit about their lives. And I was thinking, well, how the subject is very big. How to, it's a 90-day program, the one that I teach. Um, so how can I form this little half an hour talk to make it uh, right for you? And uh, the, the thing that's been coming back to me, everyone's been saying they have tried lots of things. They've tried this or that, but they get stuck to a certain point and can't make it go further, how do you get rid of that? And that's sort of going into the root cause of things and what's blocking your healing. So that's what I'm going to focus on. So the very first thing to write on your paper, you all ready? Ready, ready to be pain free? Yes. Get ready of the thing, move forward with your life and get pain free. So uh, just before we start that, just while you're getting ready with paper and, and pen, um, I'm Althea Finch. I am the founder and creator of the Pain-Free Method. That um, I've been a natural therapist for over 30 years. Somebody came up to me and they said, um, are you a therapist? I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, how can you know this stuff? Um, so I originally started about over 30 years ago. Uh, shiatsu, reflexology, reiki, acupressure, Chinese massage, kahuna massage, all sorts of lovely things, all holistic. And uh, 10 years into my training and working in clinics in South London, I um, had an epiphany. All this information and working with people um, suddenly kind of just clicked. And I had some sort of download or epiphany or something, how to be pain-free. And I thought, was well, that it? That's it. That's it. I, it was so simplistic and simple that you're going to find out just in a moment. Um, that I, 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 saw, I was testing it myself since then. I'm still testing it today. I, I, use, I'm, I know it now, you know, I'm, I'm ingrained into it, and I use it for simple negativity, um, relationships that, that I, I struggle with or have a problem with or something. It might be an ache in my, my shoulder or, or whatever, simple things. But you can use it all the way to serious chronic pain or traumas or... Um, uh, anything that you don't want. If you have something uh, that is something you don't want, I, I, I like to keep it really, really simple because we're such complex creatures. We have so many details about our lives, about how we feel about everything, perhaps about what you've been through. And um, so we are very, very um, uh, detailed in depth uh, creatures, but I like to keep it completely dead simple. Where are you on the scale? You know, are you on this horrible side? Does it feel good? Does it feel horrible? Or is it, are you into the good side? Are you pain-free? So keep it very, very simple. And um, so, um, uh, yeah, the very first thing to write down is, or to think about, is what you want to get rid of. And it might be a whole load of things. It might be one simplistic thing, a back pain, or perhaps you have an itis, that you've got a, you've got an allergy, you've got a, you've got a name for your thing, perhaps you've, you have a diagnosis. Uh, you might just say, well, it feels awful, and that's fine. Your description of your thing you want to get rid of is perfect. So have you written down something down? 
Yeah, you've all written something down you want to get rid of. You're clear about. It. Some of you might have, might be here for a friend or or a, or a partner or some for somebody else, and that's fine. Um, so um, make sure you write down these four actions we're going to take you through. So the first thing is connect to the pain. And um, so what do we normally do when we have a problem that we ha we can't get rid of? We're trying uh, to sort ourselves out to get rid of that pain or problem. What's the typical thing that we do? What are, th what are the sort of things that you've done? Go to a doctor or take paracetamol. Dr. Paracetamol? That's the classic, isn't it? Go to the doctor. I can't sort it out myself. Maybe you've tried different things. Maybe you've tried natural. Maybe you've tried inner work. Maybe you've done allopathic doctor things. So we search for solutions. And typically, we, the, the main thing we're taught is to go to the doctors, isn't it? That's the way of the West that we get taught. That's the way it's drummed into our parents, into us, into everybody, that um, you can't sort it out yourself. You need to, a doctor. Is that right? It's, it's the way, isn't it? And then uh, people who come to me, they come to me with um, serious chronic pain usually, and they've been down all that route. They've had all the medication, they've be, perhaps been to a specialist, they might have done many, many things to help themselves. They might have, um, um, they, they take allopathic drugs, they're full of uh, cocodamol and, and tryptoline and uh, morphine, all sorts of medicated drugs. But I, I like to say one question, does it work? I, are you pain free? <laughs> are you symptom gone? And and that that no is usually um, months, years of continuous suffering. Uh, once you have one sort of thing going on, that leads to other things. It might have a knock-on effect to your emotions. It might you might uh, you can't sleep because of what you're dealing with. You might um, it might you might have lost your job because of what you're dealing with. Um, and it has knock-on effect of all different things. Usually, it goes from one thing to the next to the next. And I like to say, uh, pain is a message it wants to be heard. Pain is a message it wants to be heard. All your healing is within. And when we, when we connect to uh, what's going on within us, all the answers are there. So the very f fact of going to the doctor is already outside of you. You're, you've, you've, you've lost it already. It's, uh, you know, me, me too. I was brought up uh, in the Western way of you go to the doctor and take uh, um, antibiotics and everything. So um, it's, 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 it's the wrong direction already. So everything is within. So here you go. What are you going to do to get rid of your thing? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get rid of the damn thing. <laughs> and this is from any small niggle and tightness in the shoulders or whatever, all the way to serious chronic anything. Okay. It's exactly the same process. The very first thing to do is to connect with the problem. So when you have uh, a problem, you feel it in your body, right? You feel it in your emotions, perhaps. It may be in your thoughts, maybe physically in your body. You feel it, don't you? you? You know there's a problem about something or other, and it stops you doing whatever it stops you doing, or it affects you in a certain way, but it's a problem. So the very first thing is to connect to the problem. And the way that I find is the easiest way to do that is to describe it. How does it feel? So write down, uh, this is your first of four actions to get your pain free or symptom free. Uh, how does it feel? Write one word, wh write a whole paragraph, write down, have it, say to yourself, it feels awful, it, it hurts, it drives me crazy, I can't sleep. Or write down um, what is the description, how does it feel? If you're just going to describe to your friend or to a doctor, what would you say? Hey doc, I've got this thing, yes, well, how does it feel? So if you write something down, if you got something there? And write a number next to it, how bad is it? Is it a 10 maxed out? Some people say off the scale. Or is it um, It's today one or two? Maybe right now you don't have it, but you normally have it and it's normally a six or whatever. So if you write a number down next to it, and numbers are quite handy to have clarification about so you can see the difference of change. It's very, uh, if, if you say it's not too bad or it's really awful, that's um, descriptive. But when you've got a number, it's very clear, isn't it? Sort of one or ten or three or whatever. It's very clear what the change will be. And um, you might be looking at me and thinking, well, you're not going to get rid of my thing. That could be a thing. <laughs> and uh, that would be absolutely natural if you are feeling like, oh, I'll see what she's got. <laughs> Can't get the right thing. I've tried everything. 
Uh, most people who've come to me have tried everything. And um, I like to say, you know, there are, there's a couple of reasons why we try all sorts of things and it doesn't work. Or it might help a bit. It might help you to a degree, but it won't get rid of it. So I'm going to say a little uh, story about uh, to explain why it doesn't work. So um, uh, Janet came to me in the clinic and she had awful back pain. She was quite a young girl, she was only 30 something. And uh, she'd had months of back pain. She'd been to the doctor, she'd been to a chiropractor, she'd been to, um, uh, ma had massages and all sorts of things. And she was still, she still had back pain. And um, I know that that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's the beginning of the story. Pain is a message that wants to be heard. Pain is a message that wants to be heard. So another mistake that the West we make is that we're, we're indoctrinated with is that you're the problem. You need to fix that thing and then everything will be all right. Make that thing go away and you'll be happy and life goes on. But um, you may have experienced now and understood that that doesn't work. It's not true. This is not correct. So, um, um, so I know, so I started talking to her and uh, saying, you know, what's your life? What's going on here? And she was holding down two mortgages, flat out working, two mortgages, not even one. <laughs> One's not enough, but she was t holding down two mortgages. And uh, so now we begin to see what she's made of. Why, why is she doing that? What's that ethos? What's that mindset? Is it, is it you've got to work like a slog till you get back pain? Is it you, uh, you've got to put yourself under pressure? What, what is it for her? So we begin to connect to the reasons and who, what's really creating the back pain. So as you connect to the, back, to the reasons you're suffering, then the uh, symptoms will naturally dissipate, disappear, go away. And they go away rapidly. As soon as you connect to the initial problem, which you've just written down, you connect to it, how does it feel? Write it down. You're already in a healing state because you're connecting to the message. You're listening to the message. You know, knock, knock, knock on the door. Who's that? Who's that? Yes, who's that? It's the postman. Okay, thanks. Off, job done. Message delivered. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, I wonder who that is. I wonder, it might, might be the postman. Oh, I don't know. Might be my, my, my friend coming, coming over. Knock, 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 knock. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe it's somebody bad. Maybe I won't go into the door. Knock, 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 knock. It'll get worse, isn't it? Your symptoms get worse when we don't listen to the message. Pain is a message that wants to be heard. Do you get this? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's logic, right? It's simple. It's, it make, makes sense. That's where all this information comes from, all my working with the people and learning all this stuff. Healing is simple and it makes sense. It should always make sense and feel right for you. So... Um, uh, so the first action is to connect with it, to connect with the message, just like you listen to a good friend offloading. So when, next time or now, when you feel that discomfort in you, it's a message that wants to be heard. If you try to fix it, if you try to make it go away or suppress it in the way that we're taught or s throw drugs at it, or we do all sorts of things to suppress things and make it go away, it cannot go away because what's the message? Pain is a message that wants to be heard. Pain is a message it wants to be heard. So if you do anything to push it away, it has to get louder and worse and drive you crazy and affect you more and more and more and more until you listen, until you listen. And that's the beauty of healing, that you can't get it wrong. You can't get it wrong. If you get it wrong and you go off, off piece, at some point, you know, you'll, it'll get reflected back to you in life lessons and whatever. It, it, it'll keep giving you a chance all the time to be pain-free. So how do you do it? So the very, you've got the first one then. Connect to the pain. And how do you do that? You be, you be present with the problem. You describe it. You feel it. You notice where it is in your body. Make sure that if you get triggered by these, this question, which is very likely, um, you might go into a story. You might remember why you've got it and how long you've got it and what you've done with it and what's the whole story of the whole thing. So if, you f if you're doing that, come back into your body and feel where the experience of it is for you, within your body. Very important, because that's where it happens. Healing happens within you, not outside of you, within you. And all you've got to do is stay present with it. You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to understand it even. 
just feel what it feels like. And you're already in, um, I call it an alignment state, but when pain is a message, it wants to be heard. And you're listening, you're being with it, you're feeling it, you're being present with it. You might feel triggered from it. It might move around your body. It might move to different places in your body. Is anyone feeling that? Yeah. It's moving around to different places. So it's almost like your body's, oh, she's listening. Oh, give her that bit. Tell her about that bit. So you're going to follow to the next wherever it went to. Maybe it goes to your emotions. Maybe it goes to a memory. Maybe it goes to a different part of the body. So what you do is you're going to follow that. So you've all got the first, the first step, connect. This is all this stuff is connecting. Be with it, be present with it, but make sure it's within you, within you, within you. Just check in that it's within you. Okay, so the next thing is to um, is ask, um, you know, where is it? Where is it in you? Where is it? Is it will anyone say, where, where is it in you? What body part is it? Where is it in you? Colon feet. Colon feet. Okay, so now you're going to follow to the next message. So your body's showing you where to fix. The body says, oh, go to the hip, go to the colon, go to the, go to the feet. So now you go to that body. You follow, like, like an innocent child, you're going to follow the signals of your body. Your body knows where it needs your attention. So another key factor what's going on in here, why we're in pain, is it's like a separation. When we have pain or problems or situations, it's like a thing you don't want. It's a separation. It's a, I don't want that thing. It doesn't make me feel good. So you don't want to go there. So it's like a detachment, a separation. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a separate, you don't want that thing. So it's like a sort of energetic split. So what is healing is a reconnection to it. So describing it, doing that step one, feeling where it is, connecting, being present with it. That's bringing you back into connection. And, and the moment you do that, the moment you do that, it automatically, your body automatically pings into action as it's normally supposed to do. Everything starts flowing again. Um, so you, some of you had the colon, the feet, different places in your body, and you're going to follow that, and you're going to ask, well, how does that feel? How does your colon feel? Who said colon? Somebody. So how does your colon feel? And then describe that to yourself. How does your feet feel? Somebody said. So w some people find that the uh, connecting to it stays in the same place. So just be with it. Be with it. Now, when you do this, this is enough. This is enough. I was speaking to um, a therapist just a couple of days ago, and she said to me, um, people don't believe you because it's too easy. I thought, okay, well, why not? Why shouldn't it be easy? You've suffered enough. Why can't you just get rid of it like that? Why not? Why not? Do it. So the body is immediate. The healing is immediate. It's immediate, isn't it? No, it's not. I've been bloody years, thanks. <laughs> healing is immediate. When you, th when you think of a green car, you, it's instantly in your mind, isn't it? When you, yeah, when you when you cut yourself, how long does it take to start healing? Straight away, straight away, straight away. isn't it? Your healing starts immediately. So this method is based on immediate on the on the processes of your body, immediate healing. So uh, there are two reasons why you might feel blocked. So I've spoken to a few people today, and uh, they said they've tried lots of things, and then they can't seem to get to the next bit. So. Um, there's two main sort of reasons to understand about yourself. That the first is you don't know how to get rid of this. You didn't know this stuff. Haven't met Althea yet. <laughs> you, you didn't. You haven't found your solution. So you, you just didn't know. That's all. That's all it is. And the second reason why we don't um, uh, get rid of our thing, even though we're trying everything, is because um, there's story there. The story. There are reasons you're suffering, especially if it's been for a long, long time or it's very serious to what you're dealing with. There's story there, there's feelings, there's years of, ex you've been through stuff and effects and it's affected you, so it's story. And, but the magic of healing is, healing is immediate. And all you have to do is connect with it within you. How does that problem make you feel? If you go to a memory, how does that problem make you feel? Where are you feeling that in your body? Just be with it. That's the simplest, s simplicity of it. Okay, so let's go to the next bit. So the first is connect to the problem within your body. And the second uh, action to do is, ha is, um, is know where it is within you. And then you do the same thing. How does it feel? Where is that? One and two. Where, how does it feel? Where is that? How does it feel? Where is that? So you're being present. You're being present. You're being present. Maybe you go to, to a different part of your body. 
Maybe it's the same part of your body. Maybe it's really stubborn. Uh, one lady I took through my program, this is a, 90, this is a, a sampler of the 90-day program, and um, sh her stuff was really, really stubborn. She was a lady who had awful nerve pain. She could, uh, in the base, uh, the uh, predendal nerve of her body, so the base nerve of the body, and she could barely sit down. She couldn't, it was, she was suffering dreadfully. And what was her story? She had a, a husband who was um, very, very difficult. I didn't know the details, but clearly he had a very, uh, for her, he had a very difficult effect on her and was extremely controlling. So that was her living experience. And uh, the predental nerve is um, on the base of the body. So it's, it was, this was all the uh, part of the story for her. So she was living with him, being living every, every day with this problem for, for her. And um, so her pain to go away was took, took time. It was very stubborn. But um, uh, in the 12 calls of uh, the 10th call of 12, so over the 90 days, nearly at the end, finally she got pain relief. I was like, oh, got there in the end. But you know, it takes time, the time that it does. So you have to be patient with yourself. So this stuff I'm throwing at you is like, just, just connect to it, why don't you? You know, in your body, yeah, it's gonna go like that. Well, yes, it can, definitely. I've seen very serious conditions Flick of a switch, they go. People who can't stand, next, next day they're standing. Next day they're standing. Um, Rose was a nurse who had um, uh, chronic uh, pain, painful cold feet for nine months. And she was a nurse, she tried everything. Of, of course, all the allopathic things. And she tried um, a vibration machine and all sorts of things. She tried everything. In 10 minutes, she had warm, toasty feet doing this method. When you do the correct actions for the body, the body responds like that. Healing is immediate when you cut yourself, right? Straight away, healing is immediate. So when you use the correct actions, you get immediate effects. But it may take time if you've got lots of story in there. Uh, the, 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 uh, the state to be in to get the best effects of this is to be ready and open to heal. You've had enough, you want change. You want, you've had enough of that thing, you're ready and open then this is going to work for you very quickly. But you still may need to, you might have lots of story in there, so it might still take time for you to let yourself, let the waters flow, so to speak. Okay, so uh, you've got the first two steps. How does it feel? Where is that? How does it feel? Where is that? And you can play with this, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Do you, do you, are you getting this? Yeah. Cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So the next stage, okay, so that is healing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, the mind hates all this stuff, and the mind wants details and um, wants to know what's going on. That can't be it. The mind hates all this stuff because it's not a mind thing. It's a connect to the feeling, the physical feeling. It's a connect to the physical feeling thing. That's where change takes place. If you're up in the mind and trying to understand what's going on for yourself, that's cool. You might have a really logical mind, or analytical mind or something, but it's the wrong language for the wrong job. It's the wrong tool for the wrong job. Wrong language, that's mind language, it's thinking. So you have to get into the feeling, into your body. Somebody said to me today, I, I can't get into my body, I can't go there. So, okay, so perhaps you're not ready yet, but that's okay. Just be aware of that. If you feel similar to that, that, that person, then just be aware of that's how you feel. That's it. You don't have to push into things. You're not broken. None of you are broken. None of you are broken. It doesn't matter what you've been through. You've still got all your faculties running perfectly. So that's another fallacy that we're taught, that we're broken, that something's wrong with us, that we have to fix that thing, and it's not true. So um, here's the third action. Ready for the third action? Yeah. So I'll just leave that bombshell over there. You, 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 probably, you may or may not believe me about what I just said, but practice it and see how you feel. It works. This is a proven method for over 23 years now, from my 30 years experience as a therapist, for all, all those years in clinic, hundreds of hours. And um, um, it's a proven method now for 23 years. It's the beginning of the pain-free method, I call it. Okay, so the third action is to deep, slow breathe. So forget about everything else. Forget everything I just said. Come into your breathing and breathe deep and slow. Relax your body, take some nice deep breaths, and soften, Go right, be like a detect, tension detector around your body, and anywhere you feel tension, let that part of you soften. No matter what you're thinking, no matter what you're feeling, no matter what you've been through, just soften right now. 
soften your body and take some nice deep breaths. And when you're in this place, you are flooding your body with oxygen, with the blood, and the blood is the magic potion of healing. Your body knows how to heal. You don't have to do anything. You have to do nothing. You just pay attention to the message so it is heard, and the body says, thanks, and off we go, it starts running. Healing is easy. Healing is easy, it really is. We make it so complex, we make it so complex. Oh yes, but Althea, this, this, and that's my family, and I'm my bastard. Yeah, okay, okay. How does it feel? Where's that feeling in you? Connect to the feeling in you, and then take some nice deep breaths. So the deep breaths and softening is uh, allowing, uh, supporting your body, helping your body, giving your body what it needs to function. Your body does the healing thing, you don't have to do a darn thing. You don't. When you cut yourself, you don't go and make the blood go there and scabbing and things, do you? you? Your body does it. Your body always does it. Your body, that's what it's for. That's what it's made of. It's called homeostasis. It's a constantly repairing, renewing, balancing. It's called, called homeostasis all the time. So you don't have to do anything. You just get to take the ride in the car. That's it. So the deep, slow breathing supports your body. It floods your body with oxygen and oxygen to the brain, helps you to relax, so it sends all those endorphins over your body and then uh, to the problem place. Um, and meanwhile, you're feeling better because you're breathing deep and slow and you're softening and you're, you're getting your needs met. So deep, slow breathing softening is doing so much, so much, but it's supporting your body to heal, to do its lovely healing job. Okay, got that one? Perfect. You feeling, how are you feeling? Good. It's just breathing and softening, right? Simple. Breath, uh, uh, healing is simple. So the fourth action is to say, in this breathing focus, in this breathing softening focus, uh, say what you want. So you don't have to do the fixing stuff. Your body does that. You um, connect to it within you. How does it feel? Where's that? How does it feel? Where's that? And then you go to your deep, slow breathing. You support your body and give it what it needs to function, like fuel to the car. You give the fuel to the car and let the body get on with it. And the fourth action is say what you want. So um, sometimes I'm working with people and they're going round and round, around and round and around, dealing with these horrible things. They're doing all the connecting and all oh, this is happening and I'm feeling like this and this, my life is blah, blah, blah and all these things, and they're right in the story. So uh, the fourth action gets you going somewhere. So the fourth action, it's just like um, getting in a taxi, and they say, yep, where do you want to go, love? Um, and uh, so if you don't tell the taxi where you're going to go, what's going to happen? Round and round, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. And so oh, I'm all right, you're on the clock. <laughs> He's, a, he's happy, he doesn't care. But if you don't say to yourself, to your body, to yourself, what do you want, then your body goes round and round and round like the taxi with no direction. If you, make, if you want to go shopping and you don't know what you want, what's going to happen? You might get anything, if you're like me. <laughs> get 10 times more things you expected to get. Um, you don't know what you want. Why are you there? Was it the right shop? I haven't, I haven't got time for this. You've got no direction, no result, right? So you make your shopping list or you have an idea in your head and you go there and all being well, you probably get the things or most things and you've probably been to that shop before and pretty much you're going to get your list. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but that's the intention. And when you make your list, you're, you're kind of planning what you're going to do with that food or things, you're going to, why you're going to buy that thing and what you're going to do. You're already going there, aren't you? With your mind, you're already kind of halfway there, um, but you're here, you've got nothing in your hand, nothing's happening, nothing's different to you, but your plans are already there, aren't they? Your mind is there, you're working out what you're gonna do with those things, or where you're gonna go in the taxi. So say what you want. So look at the top of your list, and um, so that's the thing you want to get rid of, you wanna change in yourself or for yourself, and what do you want? So write that thing down, what do you want instead? And um, a lot of times people say to me, um, uh, well, uh, I'd like it to be better, or 70% um, or 50% would be amazing, or if I could just get up in the morning, that would be amazing. And um, is that what you want? Is that what you want? Say what you want. So 
Go for gold, even if you don't believe it, even if you've never had that before, but that's what you want. Write that thing down. Because if you say half of what you want, that's where your body will go to because you're, you're, the, you're the captain of your ship. You say what you want and your body will follow. You say, I can, I can do this, I can do this. It kind of gets something going in you, doesn't it? It it's, gives you energy, it gives you, come on, come on. Um, psh, I'm rubbish at this, I'm, I'm useless, I'm, I'm, I won't bother. And uh, it, It's a whole other energy, isn't it? So saying what you want, it makes your whole system automatically go to where you want to be. So um, I know it's a quick, quick, quick run through <laughs> the four steps, and this is a little taster of a 90-day program, 90 days. So um, what's the 90-day program? Um, this is the first step. The first step is get rid of the pain, feel better, because I feel like you know, you're, you're not in a good state, you're looking for solutions, and the very first thing to do is to get, get your feeling better, get rid of your symptoms, make it start your feeling better. So that's the very first step of the pain-free method. The whole first month is all about get rid of it, get rid of it, how do you do it? And I guide you on that, or every step of the way. And um, there might be story in there, you might have had this a long time, you might have multiple things that you're dealing with, that's fine. Deal with it. So um, uh, getting rid of it is the first step. The second step is supporting yourself. And you've already got um, the one of the most important things to help yourself, and that's the breathing, deep, slow breathing and softening. So you can try these four actions for yourself on whatever it is you want to get rid of straight away. Now, as soon as you walk away, try it this week. Uh, soften and breathe. If you have a problem with something, it's a mental thing, emotional thing, a physical thing, I specialize, my speciality is um, uh, getting rid of physical uh, uh, th uh, muscles, bones, nerves, problems. That's my speciality. But people have used this to lose weight, to stop smoking, stop alcoholism, um, for a, a high level anxiety, for insomnia, for past traumas. So I can't tell you how many people, I can't tell you how many people, <laughs> a, a lot of people have past traumas, um, a lot. So if that may be you, you are not alone. You are definitely not alone. Um, so um, yeah. So the first step is to get rid of it. The, se the, the second step is to support your body to heal, to, go, to help yourself to go to where you want to be. And the third step is to bring back you, to bring back you, to fill your cup. And when your cup is full and you're on purpose filling who you want to be and who you are and who who, you, who uh, feeling, uh, satisfying yourself, then you stop these negative hap things happening or triggers happening that may have been happening before because you're creating the energy that is you and that blocks negativity coming to you. And if negativity comes and you get it wrong, you just go back to step one again, get rid of the damn thing and uh, go through the process again. And these things take seconds, take seconds to use. Okay, um, so let's have a look at, uh, uh, has anybody had any shifts or changes, anything uh, from, look at that number you had at the, f at the beginning, has anyone had any changes? I mean, it's just a little short talk, but um, it's, it's definitely possible that it can happen. Has that happened for anybody? Any, how do you feel? Yes? I was like a five, I was like a three. Woohoo! Five to a three, fantastic. Fantastic, well done. And all you did was just a, a few minutes, right? And that's how long healing takes. Healing is straight away. And if you haven't had any changes, don't worry. Just give this four actions a go. Connect to the problem. Where is that in you? Deep, slow breathing, softening. How do you, how do you want to feel instead? You got the four? Yes. You've got the four? Give it a go. Give it a go. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It's the same process for all conditions, whether it's a little bit of negativity or tight shoulders or something, all the way to serious chronic situations and, and conditions. And uh, watch out for that tricky mind because the mind won't believe any of this stuff. And um, the mind will say, yes, but this and yes, but that. Okay, that's fine. Come back to the feeling of it anyway. Where are you feeling that within you? Okay, so um, uh, anyone else want to share? Any shifts? Can I ask a question? Yes, please do. You do it when you need it, that's it. When you need it, when you're feeling. So if you're still feeling the pain, then you just keep doing it. Yep, so pain is a message that wants to be heard. Pain is a message, let's all get together with this. So pain is a message that wants to be heard. Just like a good friend offloading. Every single time you have a pain, a problem, a negativity, an emotional distress, life isn't working, 
That's all on that side of the scale. Pain is a message that wants to be heard. What are you going to do to get rid of it? You connect with it. You connect with it straight away. Don't leave it a second, because it'll get worse. That's the way it works. Knock, 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 knock. It'll get worse. So how, that's a good question. Lots of people ask that. So you use it as soon as you need it. And then it's gone. If it's not gone, there's probably a story in there. So you just be stay, it needs more of your attention. Stay present with it. Stay present with it. Still there, stay present with it. Breathe, what do you want instead? Um, but this is the first, uh, the uh, little sampler of the first uh, stage of get rid of it stage. Um, so this little talk might be enough for you. Yeah, I'm just wrapping up. So <laughs> um, this might be enough for you, this little talk. So fantastic. Come and see me. I'm going to be here tomorrow if you want to ask me questions and things. Um, and um, if you want my help going forward, I have a free guide on the website. Uh, those papers you've got, if you go to the website, so you can see um, the website on it. Have you got the papers yeah. going around? Um, there's, a, there's a free guide so you can take it to the next stage to understand why you've got those particular conditions. What does that mean? So understanding that mind-body connection. And then um, if you do want my help, come into the program and let's get it sorted. Uh, people have got pain free from full body arthritis, from a couldn't stand and chronic pain and looking pretty hopeless for the rest of their lives, standing the next day. And uh, you'll see lots and lots of testimonials on the website. And thank you for coming for this talk. I hope you got some nuggets out of that and pain free. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah.